Hello, welcome to Informatica Cloud Knowledge Videos. In this, we are going to set up a Microsoft SharePoint online connection in IISS. And the details needed for setting that connection will be retrieved using an OAuth tool built by Informatica. These are the contents we are going to discuss in this video today. One will be having multiple files and contents stored in SharePoint. So to integrate those content, either via list or a directory with IXS and to download from or upload files to SharePoint, one can use the Microsoft SharePoint Online Connector. So this is the connection properties which is needed to set up an IXS. So we need the mention mandatory properties to be filled such as the client ID, the client secret, the reference token, the redirect URL, URL, the attachment file path, etc. So one is going to access a subsite, then the subsite URL also should be provided. And obviously the other mandatory things like the connection name, the runtime environment. To gather all the SharePoint property details in our connected documentation, we have the detailed steps mentioned under the administration section. But now we are going to use the OAuth tool, which is a simplified version of those steps mentioned in the documentation. So these are the prerequisites to have this OAuth tool set up. So the first requirement is, in order to generate the tokens from SharePoint, the SharePoint user who's going to generate it should have admin privileges. Else he won't be able to generate the token from the site. The second requirement is, to use the SP OAuth tool, one needs to have Java installed in their meshin and the corresponding environmental variables to be set, the Java home, GI home, etc. Now, let's get to the demo. So here is the article about this tool. And the link for this article is attached in the description of this video and also included in this slide. So as mentioned previously, you should have Java installed in this mesh and also the Java home variable should be set. Also the path variable should be set. So you can download this utility by either clicking on this link and if the link is not accessible, we'll be having an attachment here. So once clicked on the attachment, a zip file will be downloaded. You can extract the zip file and place it anywhere in this mesh. So here in this utility, you will be finding a start batch file. So this start batch file is the one which we are going to run. So this in turn calls a Catalina file, which is present within this bin folder. So now uh, we'll open command prompt from this part. So in order to start up the tool, we are going to run the batch script, start.bat. So as you could see, we are getting an error like address already in use. The port number is 8005, the local host 8005 is already in use. So it's not able to run the utility and start up the server. So here, which means either this port is already in use, so we need to change to a different port or we can stop the process which is running in that port. So instead of stopping, we are going to change the port which is 8005. So in order to change the port, here you need to go into the config directory. You will find a server.xml file. So just click on edit and you will find the server port which is 8005. So you can mention it either as 8004 or 8006, whichever alternative to 8005 and save this file. So since the port has changed, now again we can go back to the folder and run the patch file. So now we could see the server startup message. As mentioned in the document, we are going to this localhost 8443 URL. So 
Now, this is my SharePoint site. So I'm going to create an ISS connection for this one. So here, we have to provide all these details, site, sub-site, client ID, and scope. So in order to provide these, first we need to register the app. So to register the app, you just need to replace this with app register new dot axpx, which will allow us to generate the client secret, client ID, any title, any app domain, and your redirect URL. So we can simply click on generate, which will generate the client ID and client secret. And we can give any title and any app domain. And the redirect URL should be the local host URL which we are trying to access. And click on create. So once created, you can have this copy somewhere. So here you have to provide these necessary details. So the site will be the one that's still before SharePoint.com. The subsite will be the one here. And the client ID is the one which we generated now. And the scope will be web tab manage. You can click on authorize. So once clicked authorize, it will form the URL. So you need to verify if the form URL is right. So this is my site and this is my sub site. And these are the remaining things. Web tab manages the scope and response type is code. So you can click on OK. So once you clicked on OK, it will redirect to this page. And it will ask you to trust it. So once clicked on trust it, it will generate an authorization code and the authorization code will be acknowledged. And it will ask you for the client ID, client secret and site details. So this is the authorization code. So we need to provide the client ID. client secret and the site and generate ok once you click on ok it will ask you to trust the fact so once trust the generate an authorization code so this is the authorization code and will ask you to submit the client id client secret and the site details again so we need to copy the client ID, client secret, and the site. And if you click on generate tokens, you will receive the access token and the refresh token. So this will be your access token and this will be your refresh token. You can have this copied and save it somewhere. So now we'll create a connection in ISS. So we'll give the mandatory details the connection name, select the type of SharePoint online and your runtime environment. And then we need to pass the client ID, client secret, which will be generated initially. Client ID, the client secret, the refresh token, which we copied. So this is the refresh token. So you need to copy everything which is in between the four. And the redirect URL will be the one which we gave. And the URL will be our SharePoint.com URL. And the subsite URL will be the one along with our subsite. An attachment file path is a path 
NRAsian machine. Any path in our Asian machine. So I have created a separate folder called SharePoint Online and we are going to close that path. And once all the details are filled, we can click on test connection. So the test connection is now successful. We can save it and use it in our mapping. So this can be used either in your source or the target anywhere. So this is the connector documentation and this is our OAuth2 link and the alternative is the general steps which is mentioned in our connector documented which is also written in a KB. So you can access these links to check on more details. We would love to hear from you through support videos at informatica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport. And if you face any technical issues to raise the support to care, you can use this link. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day.